Good morning. We're talking about and doing a deep dive into the kingdom of God because we're talking about praying your kingdom come, your will be to come into our space and that in Christ, God's space has come into our space. As with anything that you do when you are teaching from up front, there's always like, oh, I wish I had said, oh, I wish I had, oh, I didn't, oh, I forgot that. And so let me see, I'm going to add another thing, another few things as we begin this discussion this week. The reality, reality is that Jesus came and that he, uh, he brought the kingdom of God, but he is now the true king of this world. Yes, he's the true king of this world. So when you say Jesus is king and Jesus is my king, you're not saying he's just king of heaven, that he has come into this world. Now, here's how this, this looks in the New Testament. Remember when Jesus rose from the dead and he's giving his disciples the Great Commission, he says to them, all authority in heaven and on earth, in God's space and in this space, has been given to me. So he has all the authority. The enemy has no more authority anymore. He's still here. He's still uh, working. The enemy is still working, but the, Jesus has taken that authority away from the enemy. Later on in the New Testament, the Apostle Paul, he reiterates this idea that Jesus must reign until he's put all of his enemies under his feet. So we, we now have a new king of this world, but the new king is not a king of a realm. He's a king of a people, and that's you, and that's me. And we are hailing by a different king. So therefore, when there is a king, like in Rome, there's a an emperor, and you say, I hail by a different king, and it's not you. That's a threat to the world government at that point in time. But I'm under a different king besides you, and that's how I live my life. I live by his kingdom ethics, if you will. And then in the book of Revelation, it says, and the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ, and he will reign forever. We sing that song. All of this is to say, you, there is a new king of this world who has all the power, who has all the authority, and that's Jesus. And we are now we are now under his reign in this world. And so when we pray your kingdom come, we're praying that that kingdom would be manifest through us, that it would be manifest in the world around us, that it would be that it, his equity, his peace, his shalom, his wholeness, his healing, his forgiveness, his reconciliation, all of that would actually break through through us into this present evil world. And so that's are the basis of our praying, that the kingdom has come in Christ, that the kingdom is reigning inside of us, that the king reigns wherever he, his, uh, wherever someone submits to him as, as the reigning king of this world. But we have a reigning king of this world, and his name is Jesus. We'll continue this as we go this week. Thanks for joining me. God bless you.